Welcome to Nursing School Explained in this video on next generation NCLEX computer adaptive testing and what really determines whether you're going to pass or not pass the exam. So computer adaptive testing means that the computer knows the item difficulty and takes the difficulty of that item of that question into consideration. And you also get partial credit for answers that are incomplete. So those select all that apply questions might give you partial credit, although you don't have all that are correct, correct on that item. And when we talk about um, that it accounts for item difficulty. So if you answer 10 of the hardest questions, you might need three or four to answer correctly in order to pass. But 10 of the easiest questions, you might need all 10 in order to pass. And so there's a graph here that I've drawn out. So we have this line that determines pass and not pass. And then this red line here is the NCLEX passing standard. So it's been determined if you are getting enough points to be above that line, you pass the NCLEX. If you are below, you're not going to pass. And then the item difficulty or this computer adaptive testing means that you have a standard four point question. So this question is some easier medium ability question that's worth four points. So you get all four points, you score way over here. And for, if you get three points, you're still in the passing section, but more towards that teetering line. If you only get two points, this is a not pass. And if you get one point only on this four point question, then you're definitely more on the not passing side. But if the question now is harder, so it is determined that this is a harder question, you've been doing well and it's been giving you harder questions. If you only get one point out of the four points right, then you're in the not passing section, but you're really close to that standard line. If you get two points, you're passing. If you get three points, you're even more on this continuum. And if you get four points, you are way over here. So the, the item difficulty will determine what side of this pass and non-pass side that you will be on and give you points um, depending on the difficulty of the question. And that the, so when you're over here in this passing side enough time, and we'll go over this here in a moment, then it's determined that you actually pass the exact exam. So for the next gen and, and clicks, you're going to get a minimum of 85 questions and a maximum of 150 or five hour time frame. So what determines passing and not passing? So the computer adaptive testing stops when it is 95% sure that you are above or below the standard. So when you've been over here more than, than below, then, it, then you're passing or if you're 95% sure that you're below the standard, then you're not going to pass. If you're right at the passing standard, so you do well on some of the items and some not, you're kind of right, teetering right above and below this, this standard, then you are not, they're not 100% or 95% sure you're going to pass or you're going to not pass. Then the 95% rule is disregarded and you're going to continue to get questions until the maximum time is reached and then they are going to consider only your final ability estimation. If you're above in these final questions, you're going to pass. If you're below, you're not going to pass. In case you run out of time, which means you meet that five hour maximum here, um, before you're running out of time, before you, the maximum number of questions is reached, that's a one opportunity and also uh, or one possibility. And also if it's not determined with 95% certainty, if you're passing or failing, then you're going to run out of time. So if you're teeter tottering here and they are still not sure, and now you're meeting that five hour minimum, then they're going to use this alternate criteria. So if you haven't answered the minimum questions of 85, you're not going to pass because that's the minimum that they've determined you need to, to, um, in, to answer in order to pass. And the other alternative question is if the minimum question, um, the minimum number of questions has been answered, 
then the pass fail is determined by all the responses before the time expires. And again, that means have you been more on the passing or more on the non-passing side? And then at that time that the time runs out, that will determine passing or not passing. So in general, this computer adaptive testing is actually really good because the better you do, the harder questions you get. And partial credit gives you more points for the harder questions than the standard or easier questions. And so really don't fret over it. It's just a little bit of an explanation about how it works. And they just want to determine that you're going to be a safe entry level nurse. So if you do all your and clicks, practice questions, you prepare yourself for all the different questions that are out there, which is new um, in the case studies here in particular, and I have a separate video that goes over these case studies then you're going to pass this NCLEX exam. You've prepared yourself, you've been going to school with all your prerequisites, you've been in school two, three, four years, you know this stuff. Don't fret over the technicalities, just go out, take the exam, prepare yourself, go in confidently, and you're going to pass. Thanks for watching Nursing School Explained. See you soon.